What's going on guys? This is Symbiote Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at X-Men Origins Wolverine Logan. Now as you can see on the front here it says X-Men Origins Wolverine and then on the side it says in the name of the character Logan and he looks pretty nice in there. I was a real big fan of the whole bone claws and the whole bone claw story in the comic book so I'm kind of psyched to have this figure. As you can see he comes with an axe and two interchangeable hands. And then up here we got the little Hugh Jackman as Wolverine portrayal. On the back, we have three other figures that you can add to your collection from the movie line. A real brief description of Logan, and then the figure itself up there. So, let's get this guy out of his box and see what he's all about. Okay, so here we have Logan out of the packaging, and as I guessed, it's a really nice figure. It's very movie accurate, and the claws on here are actually really nice and very nicely detailed. He has the nice button-up collared shirt that he had in the movie with the rolled up sleeves. It even has a little wrinkling detail in there to show that it's rolled up. The pants that he wore and the boots. One thing I really liked is that they used a different head sculpt on here than the Wolverine figure. So they made a whole new head just for this figure. If you turn it around, as you can see, more wrinkles on the shirt and pants. Gives it a nice look. He kind of has like a dirty look to his shirt, which is nice because that's the shirt he was wearing when he was lumberjacking and all that. Let's take a look at the detailing really quick. As you can see, his face is nice. They got the nice sideburn chops in there, and they did a nice job on that. The shirt has the two little front pockets. You can see the buttons all the wrinkles. Like I said, the bone claws look really nice. And they actually kind of have a little bit of bumpy and wavy detailing to them rather than just the straight silver metallic claws. So, very nice detailing. But one thing I would like to point out while we're near the hands is that if you put them like this, as you can see, the right hand's claws curve out to the right more than the left. The left kind of move inward, which they should. But this, they go outward, which I don't like too much, but what are you going to do? So, for articulation on this guy, his head can rotate 360 degrees. It can go up and down, and a little bit of side to side. His arms can rotate 360 degrees, go out and in. They can bend at the elbow, and rotate 360 degrees at the wrist. His chest, his upper chest area, can go front and back like so and it can go side to side his legs can go front and back in and out rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the leg bend at the knee at two points and that is it so impressive articulation on these figures as for his accessories he comes with this nicely made axe. As you can see, they used a little bit of lighter paint application towards the edge to give it that sharp look, even though it is very dull. There's, It's not sharp at all, but I guess that's a safety hazard. This wooden handle is rubber, so you can bend it, put in his hand easier. And then he also has these interchangeable hands. So, if we change the hands, you just pull out the old ones, and put in the new ones. And they are different sizes than the Wolverine figure. So you can't put these in the Wolverine figure. And there you got just Logan. No Claws Logan. It looks just like a regular person. Now one thing I found with the axe is it is too small for the hands. It just is the hands are too loose and it slips right out but the clawed hands have more of a grip to them so you can fit it in those hands a lot easier so if you'd prefer to have one regular hand in one claw hand in or such or the other way around but either way the axe is still very limp and loose in his hand so that's a disappointment right there though I do like the look of the regular hands more because his claws are a little bit 
like I said, annoying in this position. So, leaving one regular hand and one clawed hand in works just fine. Now, taking some very quick size comparison with movie Wolverine and Sabretooth, you can see that Logan and Wolverine are the same height. Like I said, different head molds, but Sabretooth is taller, which is movie accurate. So, if you want to recreate your favorite scene when they're fighting at the bar, you're able to do that. So that's it for my review on X-Men Origins Wolverine Logan figure. If you liked what you see here, I suggest you check out my channel and take a look at my other videos. And if you like what you see there, I encourage you to subscribe for more X-Men Origins Wolverine toy reviews, along with any other Transformer or comic book related toy review. Once again, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of the day. I hope I'll be seeing you all next time.